Good evening everyone, I'm Brad Mower. I'm Bunnery. And this is Zeitgeist, the Interference Quiz of the Week. And we're your hosts. Mm, exactly, so this is a general knowledge quiz that we run every week on uh, Sunday nights, well yep. UK time, yep. uh, Sundays on Mixer. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's basically an interactive quiz, you yep. can play along. It's just like a pub quiz, yeah. but um, well, you do it at home, yeah. you know, you don't you have, have to go out. the cold and oh. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, the ice and the wind. Exactly, Whoa. pretty cold over here at, uh, <laughs> yeah. at the minute. Shouldn't really complain too much because I imagine uh, Amber Hopkins will be here later, yeah. uh, and um, in it's Canada, even it's much colder. colder. There. Yes, <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, we uh, we normally start a little. Uh, well, we we start talking a little bit before seven, mm -hmm. just to give everyone a chance to uh, get the stuff all set up and yeah, settle down. Get in, um, check yeah, in, just join saying, the quiz. <laughs> uh, it's freezing a little Ooh, bit. Yeah. Well, as I say, that's why we we kind of start a little bit early. Yeah. Uh, you might need to just do a little refresh there and then hopefully everything should settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you've not uh, taken part in one of these before, as I Why said, not? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> we're, we're all up and coming, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so the idea is it's a, a live general knowledge quiz, mm -hmm. uh, but each round is inspired by pictures from Interference, yeah. which is our, like, our main game that we do over at playinterference.com, drawing and describing game. Uh, and so each week, Bunnery picks five cool drawings that people have done. Uh, mm -hmm. So all of the artwork's done by our players. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And then she writes like a series of questions around them. Yeah, got five different topics, completely different random topics. Yeah, so it might be, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, hopefully this isn't happening this week, but maybe if there's a cool drawing of, I don't know, a dinosaur or something, mm -hmm. might have a few questions about dinosaurs. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's about Things it. Really. Like that. That's how it works. So uh, Bunnery writes all the questions. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of this in advance, so I'm going to kind of play along with you and make some guesses and things. There's no dinosaurs tonight. No dinosaurs no. tonight. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. But there's five very cool topics. Mm. Quite uh, different from each other. Yeah. And I mean, I don't even know which pictures have been chosen. No. All I know are the names of the artists. So uh, yeah. this week's drawings are by uh, our interference players, uh, Mint. Epic Eyebrows, Aunt TP, Loser, and Crystal. Yeah. Mm. They did some good drawings this week. You'll be amazed when you see them. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Could, could be, be any anything. kind of things. Absolutely. If you've, if you've seen Interference mm. before, you'll know that we get all kinds of random stuff on there. <laughs> yeah, so, do. yeah, I mean, you know, who uh, who knows? Mm. Uh, oh, it's Jazz and Riv saying hi there. Hello there. Hello, Jazz and Riv. Uh, looks mm -hmm. like uh, Jess has, hi, Jess. Um, <laughs> has refreshed, so hopefully she's okay now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if anyone else is watching and they haven't hit that button yet, if you want to get involved, just press the Join Quiz button underneath the stream there. If you're playing on mobile or in the Mixer app, you may need to press the Mix Play button. It's the one with sort of the interlinking arrow kind of symbol, uh, and then you should see a Join Quiz button underneath your stream. Uh, it does kind of replace the chat, though, so you've got to toggle that button on and off to swap between answering and chat. Okay. Uh, and then um, once we get started, in about 10 minutes, uh, then we will um, basically be asking some questions mm -hmm. and then we'll give you four options and then you press the appropriate button underneath the stream. So you go for the blue button underneath mm -hmm. uh, and then um, we'll, we'll keep track of what answers you give. Yeah. 
If you're right, we'll give you 10 points. If you're the fastest correct answer, give you an extra bonus extra point. point. Mm -hmm. Bonus points are so important. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, last week we had a Phantom winning uh, mm -hmm. on 233, which yep. is possibly the highest score I ever. I think it might maybe. be. I think it might be. Um, yep. That's a pretty, mm -hmm. pretty awesome score. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we had Grinning Goose in second place on 193 mm -hmm. and Engulf Tick on 192. So, oh. I mean, mm -hmm. they were pretty close there. Yeah. Oh, hi, uh, Dead Onyx Gamer. Um, oh, yeah, hi. let me just catch up with who's been joining here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hi, Dead Onyx, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're uh, feeling all right today. Mm. Um, oh, we've got Mr. Tapestry as hi, well. Mr. Tapestry. Amber Hopkins the is here. here. We were just talking about you, Amber, yes. With your um, weather. <laughs> so, uh, who oh, else we've got hello, here? Oh, Ferret's here as well, nice Renee. Um, yeah, Onyx, you, you, you don't have to. Um, you can just watch along um, and, you know, basically just have a bit of a laugh with us. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hello, Grin and Goose. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but, nice um, Grin and Goose. But, you know, yeah. if, if you do, fancy having a go you just hit that button any time and join in you, you can like uh get involved at any point we, we're normally doing this for about an hour so we uh you know we'll probably wrap up just after eight o'clock uk time yeah. well in about an hour and 10 minutes or yeah. so <laughs> so we're just waiting for everyone to join in now um, we've got quite a few joiners already. Yeah, okay, we've got lots of the regulars here. Um, I can see we've got a few people watching as well. Uh, as oh, yeah. I say, if you want to get involved, uh, feel free to say hi in the chat and hit that join quiz yeah. button. Underneath. Everyone's very friendly. <laughs> Not um, too competitive. Not no, too competitive. no, that's it. It's all just a bit of fun, <laughs> really, is isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what I'm saying. Did I see what they said in Discord? Um, I. Oh, sorry, only Steam quality is 1080p, please work my board. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was recording some video um, the other day and I haven't set it back down from 1080p. Um, oh, oh. Change, yes. change that. Apologies, I will, I'll have to sort that out for next time. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and on, on that mm -hmm. note as well, we did check with, uh, with Mixer about um, multiple stream qualities. They say only when you're partnered. Uh, uh, so. okay. Uh, basically, we need like to get 2,000 followers and all this. Um, so, you know, tell your friends. And then we'll get That'd paid. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, Dead Onyx. Yeah, yeah, um, Dead Onyx does a, a bit of art. I don't uh, see really. Well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, oh right, I think I showed you actually. The other oh, yeah, night. with the dragons. With the dragons. Yeah, really cool that's stuff. amazing. But yeah, yeah, um, someone asked for a commission yeah. um, on like a, kind of an unreasonable time scale. Oh. And then, um, like, when it was slightly late, it was like, no, don't want it. Oh, no, really? People are rubbish, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I think artists get treated quite badly sometimes. They do, they do, yeah, mm. yeah. Anyway, we're glad you're in the game anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just just wondering if I have got time just to sort of stop and restart this maybe to Could do. to drop the quality. Um, are yeah, you... I mean, we've got like eight minutes before, the, before it starts. Are, are you still having problems here, Amber? Because if you want, I can maybe just pause things um, and then uh, drop the stream quality down slightly and start and restart if if it is a bit flaky for you. We've got time if you need. <gasps> Engulftic's here. Hello, Engulftic. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> yes. Uh, good evening. <laughs> I wonder how you'll do this week. <laughs> um, yeah, Dead Onyx. Saying about about this commission, you know, it's, oh, you yeah. say it's impossible to do what you ask. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't do much sort of design kind of stuff but uh, I used to hate talking about design with people mm, yeah they go yeah yeah I've just mocked this thing up it'll only take you like 10 minutes to do and you're like mm. doesn't work like that <laughs> no. and then you do something like can you make it pop more and you're like what does that even mean <laughs> and besides it's not terrible but it lags every half minute or so I'm having to use my phone because the browser keeps not loading the videos. And okay, yeah. maybe, maybe it is maybe worth just um, it, yeah. just dropping this down slightly. I'm pop the screen up and then come back in. Um, okay, hang on a moment, everyone. I've just mm -hmm. got I've just got to stop the stream, turn the quality down, and then restart. So you'll all stay connected to the quiz. It's just the video is going to disappear for about twenty seconds, just while I poke some buttons. Okay. Well, I say twenty seconds. I need to remember where the setting is. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I will be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and I'm not sure if Jess will have I'll the sound on. So, yeah, some, yeah. okay, cool. We'll be right back. If I can find where my mouse pointer is, at uh, like seven twenty thirty frames a second instead of ten eighty p sixty, which was overkill. Um, <laughs> it's just that I, I, I use our streaming software if I have to capture any gameplay videos for things mm. and I needed some. Oh, Olive's here. Hello, Olive. Stuff. Oh, hello there, Olive Walnut. Yeah. Maybe this is the week that you win. Mm. <laughs> well, I, I think I think Olive Walnut I did think quite well really in well, one of the rounds yeah, yeah. last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really well. 
so um, yeah, I'll just give um, everyone a chance to get back give in Jess the quiz. and uh, Amber a chance yeah. just to reload that and things. Hopefully, that should be working. We've a bit got better five for you. minutes to join the quiz, so lots of time yet. Yes, well, this is the good thing about starting a little bit early, yeah. isn't it? Um, hello, yeah. Olive. <laughs> Olive says hello, hello there. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so any little problems like that, we can uh, we can sort out. We can. Um, but yes, it would be nice um, if they offered uh, multiple stream qualities for non-partnered people. Yeah. I did ask nicely. I said, "Well, you know, we're we're developers and we're making cool stuff, and it would really help." Mm. And they're like, "Yeah, we know, but sorry, it's it's the rule. You got to mm. be partnered." Yeah. So um, yeah, like I say, if you happen to know, I don't know how many followers we're on, eighty or something. Yeah. If you happen to know one thousand nine hundred and twenty people yeah. who would like to follow us, <laughs> sort tell it. us all about it. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, oh, Amber's back in chat. When was a temporary oh. lack of quiz? Oh, hey, Anthony's here as well. Oh, hello. Hey, Anthony. <laughs> um, how are you doing? Um, yes, hey, Anthony streams himself playing Interference. <gasps> I know, it's uh, great, isn't is, it? Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, which is very cool. Mm. Uh, I caught a bit of his stream. Was it last night? You said I don't know. I lost track of time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> during an um, underwater train. I won't see any more of that in case someone else goes on to... Um, uh, so the game to, gets to, that one. <laughs> ...to draw it. And they're like, wait a minute, this is an underwater train. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, so... Um, yeah, let me just look at our numbers here. Yeah, I think we might have a few people who haven't pressed the button. So oh, if you want to get involved, quiz. we're going to do, it's basically a bit like a pub quiz, you know, mm. uh, some general knowledge questions, so multiple choice. Um, all you've got to do, hit that join quiz button underneath the stream. Uh, and then when we're asking the questions, you'll see a set of blue buttons under the stream. Uh, you just press whichever one you think is the right answer. <laughs> uh, if you're right, we'll give you 10 points. If you're the fastest correct answer, you get an extra bonus point. Uh, and sometimes they make all they the difference. They do make all the difference, mm. absolutely. Sometimes it's really neck and neck at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were saying earlier, mm. uh, last week we had Phantom finish on top on 2-3-3, three, three, which was a massive score. She was way ahead, wasn't she? Um, and then uh, second and third place was Grinning Goose and Engulfed Tick on 1-9-3. Like 1-9-2. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One point. Those two were close, mm -hmm. weren't they? Yeah. That's those uh, fastest answer points, isn't it? Yeah. So we see lots of leaderboards as we go through, don't we? Um, okay. Yeah, that's a good point, Ferret. I, I need to actually write these things down. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're feeling keen, um, you could you could change that, you know, because you're like a channel editor. Um, yes, apparently we're, we're doing interference and chill. Are we? Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> maybe we should draw something while we're here. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should. Maybe, maybe I should. Could you just pass that over to me and I'll sort it out? I can. Ooh, it's attached to a wire, though. It's, it's right. <laughs> Uh oh no, it's not attached to a wire. Um, yes, I'll just fix that. So quickly. it is really zeitgeist, and it is a quiz. Yes, yes, it is zeitgeist. It <laughs> yeah. is zeitgeist. It's just me. It's just me being a noob. Yeah. Oh no, you, maybe I can't change the uh, change the title. Um, While you're doing it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll let you do the talking here for a moment whilst okay. I just sort this out. <laughs> so this is a bit like, you know, you go along to a pub and they ask questions on random things. They have a round on sport or they have a round on music. We have rounds on things that have been suggested by some of the awesome pictures we've had in the game. So it can be anything. It's totally random. Um, but yeah, the good thing about the quiz is that you can have multiple choice answers. So even if you're not quite sure of the answer, you might see one that looks right in the four choices and you can get that. And, you know, you might be right. You never know. It's pretty cool, isn't it? How's it going? Ah, uh, yeah, the interference quiz of the week. <laughs> Game you're streaming, web show. Yeah. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to tell your friends and they can come and join too. The more people we have, the better. We have a longer, longer leaderboard each week, don't we? We do, we do. It's a little bit longer each yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> we need it to kind of spread out we into um, uh, like Two an columns extra, now, extra column. We? Yeah. We are. <laughs> Um, sorry, guys. Interference quiz. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's just me being uh, disorganised. Are we all official now? Yes. Yes. Awesome. I was just charging that a bit before we started, ah, so it should yeah, be yeah. should be okay. Um, yes. Sorry about that. Thanks for pointing it out, though, Ferret. That will maybe help with discovery, um, and people won't be all confused, going, "This isn't interactive drawing. What's going on?" Oh, not at all. Well, it's interactive, interactive and quizzing. there are drawings. Yeah, but it's made a quiz. So you know that counts. And you can all join in. Great. Um, so, uh, oh, I have missed uh, Crash Thatch joining as well. Hello oh, there. hello, Crash Thatch. Nice to see you. Um, oh, it was um, it was Amber who noticed apparently. Uh, oh yes, yes, I see. 
Well Sorry, done, looking Amber. a bit for. <laughs> Um, oh, so, um, so yeah, almost time to start then. Is there anybody there who hasn't joined the quiz yet? Yeah, yeah. If you haven't hit that button, join quiz on Five the seconds mixed play buttons underneath. Yeah. You can join at any point. Oh, of course but, you can. You, know, yeah. you want to get involved from the start, get more points. Okay, so um, this one, the first round, is going to be inspired by Fly using a walking stick because he's very old oh, uh, by Mint. <laughs> so what happened was Mint was given this description in Interference uh, and then that's the way that they tried to depict it for the next person. Uh, so uh, yeah, something to do with, I don't know, flies, walking sticks, uh, insect. Yeah, I mean, insect seems kind of sensible, doesn't it? Um, Old people. Mm, exactly. Old people. <laughs> yeah. Amber saying I'm multitasking and drawing organic structures for my chemistry class while wow. fizzing. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's is very cool indeed. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting a uh, a couple of sound sort of things here. There we go. Oh, That's better. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, what do we think? Old people, Movement. insects. Oh, Mr. Movement Sellers here. Could be. Hello, Mr. Seller. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be flies or insects. Maybe. Let's have a look then. Let's have a look. Hello there, human seller. Perfect timing. Yeah. And uh, also Coffee King, thanks for joining us. Oh, I didn't see Coffee King yeah, earlier. Yeah, popped oh. in, just oh, lurking, yes, there we having go. a look. Oh, yeah. just here for sport. Hope all is well. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay, shall I? Yeah, you start? can start with question one. Yeah. All right, so flies then. What kind of fly is responsible for spreading the disease known as sleeping sickness? Mm -hmm. Is it the bot fly, the tsetse fly, the mosquito or the horse fly? Mm, well, I, well, I think I've actually heard of each of these, well, that's good, so then. that's a start. That's well, a start, I say that, I don't know if I've heard of bot fly. Oh, um, yeah. Mm, uh, I mean, mosquito, that's that's uh, malaria, malaria, really. Definitely. That's, 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 that's yeah. not known as sleeping sickness, I don't think. Horse fly, don't think so. Tetsy fly, a tetsy fly spread something, but I can't think what it is. Mm. So I might go for that because I've heard of them. I think most people have gone for but that But I one. can't think what it is. But yeah, it looks like just over uh, half of you have gone for uh, Tetsy Fly. And yeah, that's the uh, that's the right answer. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. But who was fastest? Olive, uh, Olive Walnut. Walnut. Oh, I told you Olive Walnut was going to do well this week. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, that was a good bit of prediction there. Yeah. Hey, Anthony saying, uh, learn something new already. Oh, mm. absolutely. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Dead Onyx saying, sent me something on Discord. Um, yeah. Uh, I. I can't actually see my screen with Discord on from here because of how we have to set everything up to uh, to fit in. But I'll uh, I'll check it out in an hour when we uh, when we finish. <laughs> you, what, what you can't see is we're actually sat like three meters away from the actual computer here <laughs> uh, on a massive cable. Um, okay, so um, yeah, Jess saying I've never heard of those. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say I'd I've heard, heard of it, yeah. but I wasn't sure what what disease it did or anything. Mm, there you go. Okay, so next on flies then, which tech company founder has the elimination of malaria as his primary goal? Is it Bill Gates, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg, or Jeff Bezos? Was it Bezos? I never know. <laughs> yeah, mm. I mean, uh, some of these guys like to use their fortune for good. Well, one of those people in particular mm -hmm. is all about that, because he said he wanted to get rid of, what, 90% of his money, Yeah, I think, by the time um, it, yeah. it sort of, by the time his kids inherit it. Mm -hmm. uh, so most of you going for Bill Gates. A uh, few votes for uh, Jeff Bezos, Bezos. Bezos, humid seller says he says Bezos. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. Bezos. Mm -hmm. That sounds Sound, kind of American. Sounds it? legit, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose in America you say Z instead of Z, so yeah, yeah maybe go for the long sound. Yeah. Uh, okay, so most of you, almost all of you, going for Bill Gates, I'm pretty sure that's the right answer. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Bill Gates is on yeah. a mission for malaria. I think he's a good he? guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Anthony saying, my mom did blood research with his foundation for malaria. Wow, fantastic. Nice. Yeah, that is good stuff. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it does all kinds of stuff, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, I remember some of the computers at the library where you my library, work, yeah. They were provided by the Bill and, Bill and Melinda, Melinda Gates, Gates Foundation. foundation yeah. So I just hesitated. I was thinking, is that going to be a later question? Are we doing a round <laughs> on Bill Gates? No, no, we're not doing it. Bill okay. Gates. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Ferret was fastest. Well done, wow, Ferret. that's pretty speedy there. Yeah, yeah. Under a second. It's only taken us two questions to get a sub-second answer. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, next up then. What is the larval stage of the fly's life cycle known as? 
is it? Uh, a maggot, a caterpillar, a worm, or a grub? So those are all larval stages of something. Of a fly. Fly. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, worm. No. Yeah. I mean, grub. There. Kind of slightly uh, different. Yeah. Caterpillars. I'm pretty sure they're not caterpillars. Um, maggots. I'm pretty sure it's maggots. Because you get like maggots on rancid food, mm. and then you get like flies. So yeah. that makes sense to me. Yeah. yeah. I think. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Just over half of you getting that right. That's very cool. Um, nice. Okay, so who was fastest? Hey, hey Anthony. Anthony. Oh, there we go. Good one. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, knowing your fly life cycle there. Very good. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, Crash that saying, worm is a larval stage. What do they turn into? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was mentioned in the list of larval stages, so um, when I looked it up, I'm not sure. I mean, earthworms obviously don't turn into anything else, do they? Mm. But maybe some of them are termed worms. I'll have a look at that later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finding out which uh, which creature has a alarm as a a, wor a, 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 a llama, a worm as a larval stage is maybe left a llama. <laughs> is left as an exercise for the viewer. Okay. Um, yeah, Amber's saying I think other insects have larval stages called. Yeah, worms. they said they did. Yeah. Okay. We'll have yeah. a. Yeah. Hey, Anthony, bigger worms. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next then. Which author wrote Lord of the Flies, the story of boys left alone on an island who turn feral? Quite a brutal novel. Have you read Was it? Was it William Golding, William Blake, Lawrence Stern, or Charles Dickens? Um, never read the book. I did see some of the film. Ah, oh, I had to do it at school, I think, so, mm. yeah. I think a lot of people do, really. Mm. I think other English groups at my school did, did it, they? but yeah, yeah. we did It was quite else, a while ago, know. yeah. Hey, honestly, saying it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, before these came up, mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, it's William something. Yeah. That doesn't really help. Um, <laughs> which one right. would you go to after this? Well, I mean, there's there's a few votes for Charles Dickens. Yeah, um he which wrote a lot of good stuff. He did. I'm I'm pretty well, certain. Not this. <laughs> Most of you, just over half of you, have gone for William Golding, mm. and that kind of rings a bell yeah. more so than William Blake. So I'm going to say William Golding. Okay, let's see. If I'm, that's right. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure the majority of you are right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, there we indeed, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just over half of you getting that right, yeah. and grinning oh, goose fastest. Well done. Yeah, I mean, maybe grinning goose did it in school. Too. Well, exactly. I wonder if the half of you that got this right had to study it at school. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, Amber Hopkins saying uh, they do it there in school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, as I say, I think most people know, at my school yeah. did it, but I did something else. I don't know, Mole Flanders or whatever. Okay. I don't know. It's a bit more risque. <laughs> yeah, I never really got into it though. I had to buy the audio book in the end because I couldn't get into the book. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, okay, and finally on flies then. Darners are the largest variety of what kind of fly? Let's have a look. Dragonflies, fruit flies, blue bottles, or house flies? Have you heard of darners? I have not. I have literally no idea what that is. Can you think of what a darning needle would look like? It's like a very big needle. Well, I mean, I would have said dragonflies. Mm. Just because they're the most interesting of those they're flies, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I hadn't made the connection about like darning, like mm. with a needle. And dragonflies are quite needly; they're quite long, long and thin. Yeah. Aren't they? yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean that that kind of makes sense. Oh, <laughs> Animal Crossing saved the day for once. Did I have some in Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, well, I I played Animal Crossing, but it was years ago. So you like, didn't see the darners then? <laughs> no, no. But you used to be able to like catch fish and things like that. Maybe mm. you could catch insects as well. Mm. It was a long time ago. It must have been over ten years. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that okay? That makes sense. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. Too. So eighty-three percent of you. It's like four fifths, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, and you're right. Who got that fastest then? Grinning Goose, Goose was fastest, Ooh, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Perhaps also playing Animal Crossing, who yeah. knows? <laughs> so, can All right, that's board, it for no? flies. What do we know about them then? Okay, Ooh, here we go. go. Grinning Goose, not with 1,352 <laughs> points. <laughs> Honestly, those, I <laughs> will sort that out for next week, yes. Um, so that's Grinning Goose 13 on 52 points. Wow. Uh, so perfect round and two fastest. Yeah. Olive Walnut and Crash Thatch also getting all the questions round. right. Yeah. Uh, Olive Walnut getting the extra bonus as well. Wow, there. that's close, isn't it, um, at the top? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Anthony on 41, mm. uh, just ahead of Vexed Astrian and Gulltick. 
uh, Ferret's on 31, just ahead of Jess and Amber. And then we've got Rene Enigma on 20, uh, Shazam River on 20, Human Seller on 10, and Dom and Joey yet to score there. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's um, cool. interesting. Everyone <laughs> yeah. seems to know their stuff about flies. A lot of people seem to know about flies, yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, just before we head into the next round, if you're in the audience but haven't uh, had a go at this yet, yeah, hit that join quiz button. Yeah, um, it's basically, it's live and interactive. Uh, all you have to do when we're asking a question, just hit whatever button you think is the right answer. So when you press join quiz, uh, you will get some blue buttons underneath the stream. Just press whichever one you think is right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one, um, in interference, someone was shown angel becoming a devil. Yeah, it's and like a fallen uh, angel. Wow, that's awesome, isn't, isn't it? it just... And so uh, Epic Eyebrows drew this. It's beautiful. That's it's beautiful. awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you haven't played interference, the idea is um, people are shown a description, they have to draw it, or they're shown a drawing, and they have to describe it. Mm -hmm in 10 minutes with a very limited palette so that that was 10 minutes work yeah. that's awesome it's pretty brilliant yeah <laughs> uh okay so what do people think this is about then christianity uh death yeah, it's all fair so all life yeah mm -hmm. religion mm. Um, i wonder well i was gonna say um it's not the right word like like how you have kind of mythical creatures mm -hmm. there's a word but for sort of I don't know what we're trying to say, like heavenly creatures, or, creatures or, or something like that, perhaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's have a look and see. Okay. Angels. angels. Yeah, nice. around to it's okay. all about angels. So, question one. The Archangel of Death, commonly known as the Grim Reaper, has which angel name? Is he Metatron, Uriel, Morani, or Azrael? Have you heard of those names before? I've heard of the correct answer. Have you? Mm. Okay. <laughs> and where have you heard that from? <laughs> um, well, it was in Assassin's Creed. No, it wasn't in Assassin's Creed for a change. <laughs> well. um, it was in the game uh, Requiem Avenging Angel. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. And so, which do you think it is then? Uh, it's Azrael. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so, uh, Ooh, yeah, Az Azrael was like it's supernatural. The... <laughs> oh, of course, yes. That's probably the other good source yeah, for it. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Metatron, I know of from... Um, Wow. You know, Alan Rickman in um, uh, oh, Dogma, Dogma yeah. which is a great film. Absolutely, yeah. So these are all angels. Mm. Yeah. I feel like we're part of a very small minority of people that haven't seen Supernatural. Yeah, we should watch that. We, sh we should get on mm. that. <laughs> well, Metatron may be a Transformer, but mm. it's also I, an angel. <laughs> I think that might be Megatron. Uh, oh, perhaps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure most of you have got that right, because it's, yeah. it's Azrael. Mm -hmm. um, can I say any more about that, or am I going to spoil something? No, like, um, maybe not say much yeah. about angels for now. <laughs> uh, about Azrael. Azrael himself. Azrael yeah. um, was basically like the keeper of the book of kind of like um, people who sort of like died and, and oh, who, who, okay. who was alive and who was dead. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were the angel of death, basically. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, most of you getting that right. Mm. And Jess, Jess was fastest. Oh, well done. That's your winning ways. <laughs> okay, question two. What was the name of the archangel who appeared to Mary to tell her that she would have the baby Jesus? Was it Galadriel, Michael, Ariel, or Gabriel? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty confident that I know that. I feel like this is something, even if um, you're not uh, kind of really familiar with the Bible mm -hmm. or, or you're not like a churchgoer, um, you'd kind of pick this up from mm -hmm. somewhere. The, the reason that I was um, hesitating for a moment is I was like, hang on, Galadriel. That, that sounds familiar, but I can't quite place it. Galadriel was Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the best angel in Supernatural, best Ooh. Supernatural angel. Okay. Um, Everyone likes this one, though. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, most of you, uh, just under, just over two-thirds of you saying uh, Gabriel. Everyone else saying Galadriel. I think I tricked some people. Maybe yeah, cross that. <laughs> possibly going for a fast click. Oh, yeah. Ga yeah, okay, that's yeah. it. Starts GA, got to be the one. Mm -mm. Um, Amber Hopkins saying me. <laughs> Harsh, sorry. Oh. Um, so yeah, those of you who said Gabriel, nearly seventy percent right. of you. Yeah. Um, was was Michael one of those answers because we're watching The Good Place? No, I think Michael is an archangel, isn't he? Yeah, I was just but, wondering yeah. if you were you were trying. No, to I wasn't thinking about the good a place. reference there. No, no. 
Uh, if anyone hasn't watched The Good Place on Netflix, you should watch, watch it because it. it's awesome. <laughs> no. um, okay, so <laughs> Jess was fastest there, mm. just under two seconds. Yeah, that's a good one. Another one from Jess, yeah. She knows about angels. Okay. All right, moving on. Question three. Which former member of Take That had his biggest solo hit with angels? Was it Gary Barlow, Jason Orange, Robbie Williams or Mark Owen? I, I feel like, well, I don't know. Is This, this, is this has been of, a massive hit, I think. I think it's been a big, because this was mm. in the UK, but I think it's been it a big been a enough hit. hit. And I mean, you get Absolutely. it at like so many weddings and things like that. We've got that, a new player, um, Valsis. Oh, thank um, you, Valsis. Oh, hi, Valsis. Yeah. How are you doing? Nice to see you with the game. Um, Anne Hopkins hasn't heard of these people all banned. Um, really? Yeah, wow. they, they were really big in the UK. Mm. Well, probably a while I ago. I thought they went over it all over America. Um, they did Maybe not try to get into America. I think mm. they, they were quite popular. I think they were, yeah. Uh, but one of them uh, is uh, kind of really popular as a solo artist, um, mm. and that is Robbie Williams. That's right. So I think most of you are yeah. right there. And Jess Just was fastest. Again, wow, she's acing this round. <laughs> Um, yeah, mm. angels. I I think you get a lot at weddings. Yeah. So I I feel like mm. you've possibly heard it or, or well you you almost probably certainly have heard the song at some yeah. point. Um, but I'm maybe loving just loving angels instead. <laughs> yeah, it was actually a song. Of, can I say that? Or am I going to spoil something? What? what that song's about? No, you're okay. Yeah. Um, because isn't that actually about his mum? Oh, is it? Yeah. Aww. Through it all, she offers me protection, Aww. a lot of love and affection, whether I'm right or wrong. And, that's so nice. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know. Well, I knew the lyrics to that. <laughs> How weird. Um, yeah, okay. If you never heard it, you know, it's worth a lesson, I think. <laughs> All right. So, moving on then. Okay, question four. Which type of angels are said to have four faces? The lion, ox, human, and the flying eagle. These are the four faces. Are they seraphim, the chorus, archangels, or cherubim? Oh, wow. Okay. This is very weird. I didn't even know about this, but I kept checking it out. And yeah, they've got four faces, lion, ox, human, and a flying eagle face. I mean, I, I kind of thought there was going to be something Egyptian yeah, turning up there no, when, when I saw that question. This is part of the angels. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I, I think not archangels because... They're usually kind of on their own and they, they look kind of human. -ish. Yeah, yeah. Because I seen... mean, well, like we've just said about Archangel Gabriel. Mm, yeah. yeah. Or Michael um, was an Archangel too, wasn't he? For some reason, I mean, I, I, mm. I literally don't know this, but Seraphim jumped out at me. Did it? Yeah. And may, maybe that's what everyone else is thinking as well, because I mean, most people went for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I got no sort of basis for that. Mm. I just think, you know, maybe, maybe that. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go. No. Oh, Actually, cherubim. cherubim. Yeah. I kind of assumed they were going to be little rosy cheeked no, kids. No, they're cherubs. That's different from cherubim. It... Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Cherubs are little rosy fake. I just thought cherubim was no. maybe the plural of cherub. No. Well, cherubim has got four faces. There we go. As far as anyone knows. Um, how yeah. is the eagle face flying? Does it have wings? Well, now that is a good point. Maybe its hair's all like frushed back because it's flying. It's feathers. <laughs> yeah, but it, it has the face of a flying yeah. eagle. What it says. So where are the wings? No, it's just the face. Eagles, yeah, but how can it be flying if it doesn't have wings? Oh, I see it's what you mean. Its feathers are yeah. blowing backwards. <laughs> the wings are left as an exercise to the imagination. <laughs> oh mm. no, we don't have grounded eagles around here. No. <laughs> All right, so about a quarter of you getting that right, and Amber was fastest. Well done, Amber. <laughs> Taking about half the time though, so giving well, it a bit of thought. Well, not many people got that right, really. Mm, so that's yeah. quite a difficult one, wasn't it? I was quite surprised. Chose it because it sounded kind of like Chimera. Yeah, mm, that's true. Chimera. Are yeah. they real? I mean, well, not that... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Chimera are. Um, they're the ones that are sort of like a hybrid of, of two animals. Um, mm, right. So you get like... But they haven't uh, got four faces, have Well, they? no, that's true. They normally have two, I think, maybe. Mm. Perhaps. But yeah, good logic there. <laughs> okay, final question on angels. Who is the guardian angel in It's a Wonderful Life? Played by Robert Carradine. What's his name? Is it Daniel Gregori? Numa Banks? Flagstaff or Clarence Oddbody. Now, a lot of people have seen It's a Wonderful Life, but we haven't actually watched it yet. No, we? no. Uh, I think yeah. we have a copy of it downstairs, we but we've never watched it. This is the point where uh, Ferret now says in the chat, yes, you have a, my copy of um, the, the Red Turtle that you haven't watched yet either. Uh, not quite. Uh-oh, just got tricked by what? Mm. <laughs> These are all different. Uh, okay, Daniel Gregory, 
Noma Banks. Flagstaff. These are all angels in films, by the way. Okay. Only one um, of them is in a, It's a Wonderful Life. It's a kind of old film, so would you go for an old kind of name? I mean, the one that leaps out at me mm -hmm. is, is Clarence Oddbody. Yeah. Because I, I feel like... I mean, I haven't seen the film, but, mm. you know, the Guardian Angel, I mean, maybe they were actually kind of like, you know, appearing and wandering around and stuff. Mm. So they'd have like a, a, a two-part name, mm. because if you were called Flagstaff, you'd kind of stand out a bit. So mm. I'm thinking Clarence Oddbody, that could be a, an angel name, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Critics do get amazing. <laughs> Clarence Oddbody. Yeah, so right. um, I didn't know that until. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. No idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, yeah, 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 yeah you I know, seen you, I think. <laughs> most of you going Flagstaff, mm -hmm. and almost everyone else going for Daniel Gregory. But mm -hmm. uh, no, it looks like Hey Anthony was uh, was right there. Maybe. Let's see who was fastest. Yeah, there we go. There yeah, we go. <laughs> just under two seconds. That's wow. nice work. At least you've watched the film then. <laughs> yeah, we should we should watch that. Is that is that the one that's Christmas? Themed? Yeah, yeah. Maybe Christmas we should thing. watch it at Christmas. Well, we should. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this round then, um, wow. yeah, again, I need to kind of sort out the space. Mr. Sell did the best there, wow. <laughs> yeah, with uh, 576,000. Really <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, Humid Seller 5764, mm -hmm. having 40 points. Yeah, yeah. Um, so getting four right. Uh, Jess, Am Hopkins, Hey Anthony, Vex Tapestry, Ferret, and Grinning Goose all got three right, but Jess got three bonuses. Amber and Hey Anthony getting one each. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got Shaz and Riv, Dom and Jerry, and Golf Tick and Crash Thatch all getting two right for 20 okay. points. And then Rene Enigma, Olive Walnut, mm -hmm. and Valsis uh, getting one right for 10 points. Mm -hmm. uh, Human Cell saying, first time I score the highest on a round. You should yeah, take a snapshot of that before it disappears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, print screen. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, you never know. Maybe, maybe you're going to finish up on top. Yeah. Could happen. Looking like it, isn't it? Let's see the overall leaderboard. All right. So, yeah, let's take those and put them into the overall leaderboard. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, we've now got Grinning Goose on 82. Hey Anthony on 72. Oh, one's question and then behind. a tie for third, uh, Mr. Tapestry and Crash Thatch both Ooh. on 70. Mm. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> hey, Anthony saying, we'll get in my goals. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I really must sort out that spacing with the name. <laughs> you say that every week. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, I think of it when I'm sat here, but the whiteboard with the plan on is on the other side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hacks, says Ferret. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got next. Aww. Oh, that is quite cute, isn't, isn't it? it just... <laughs> so in Interference, uh, Aunt TP was shown the description cute pupper head and drew this. Now, I think, uh, I've seen this game, actually, mm. and cute pupper head, it Usually, was like the head of a yeah. puppy. Yeah, but people uh, say pupper, don't they, now? Mm. But so, uh, maybe she mis cute misread it as puppet, yeah. yeah. And that is a very cute sock puppet. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice, it. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I like the simple ones. <laughs> I do. It's quite yeah. quite nice colouring as well, yeah, sort of pastel it is. shades. Yeah, it's very um, expressive little Hey, Anthony's saying favourite one this week. Oh, cool. <laughs> Amber had to draw a sock. Oh, it sounds like a, a few of the Yeah, there were a lot of socks in this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you think it's about then? Yeah, what do you think this could be? Uh, so uh, just before we uh, we start that round as well, um, if anyone's watching and they haven't yet had a go at this, hit that join quiz button underneath the stream yeah, and then you can, can play along. Yeah, fun, this nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's basically multiple choice. Yeah. Well, you've probably seen a bit already. If you press join quiz, you get an extra set of buttons underneath uh, and then you press those and we record your score. 10 points for a correct answer and a bonus mark if you're fastest so, and correct. Hanson thinks it's about do-it-yourself crafts. Make your own puppets. Mm. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, I better not say that in case. It's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep quiet yeah. and let's just see what it is. Puppets. Yeah. Okay. We've all seen puppets in our childhood, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd better not say anything. No, no, don't say anything. There. <laughs> okay. So, uh, question one on puppets. Which puppets' enemies were from Mars and were called the Misterons? Oh, the Misterons. <laughs> Was it? Captain Pugwash, mm -hmm. Captain Crunch, Captain Scarlet, or Captain Birdseye? Mm -hmm. I think two of those are food related. <laughs> they are, yes. <laughs> so, how many people think? Ooh. Well, okay, so a bit, bit of a spread. Um, mm. just every, all of them picking up a, a vote <laughs> at least there. Amber, what did you do? <laughs> Captain Scarlet uh, being the most popular. Yeah. Uh, it's just under 70% of Captain you. Captain Scarlet. Do, 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 do. In this <laughs> Yeah, no. Yep. Captain Scarlet. Anyway, yes, uh, it was Captain Scarlet. Of course, it was. 
<laughs> um, I didn't watch much Captain Scarlet when it was originally on. I, yeah, I was... No, I can't say. I was more of into one of the other okay. shows like that. Okay, yeah. But then they repeated it, like, well, I don't know, 20 years ago or something. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, I watched it then. It's actually pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> So. Um, uh, Mr. Tapsley saying, did anyone see the Super Blood Wolf moon? I don't know. I lose track of these moons. <laughs> no, we were asleep. <laughs> um, yeah. Captain Crunch is a cereal, isn't it, in America? Yeah. Captain Birdseye advertises fish fingers, fish fingers over here. Um, Captain, Captain Pugwash, Pugwash a is... cartoon, yeah. not a puppet. Yeah. And was a pirate. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Captain Scarlet, the right answer. And Grinning, Grinning Goose. Goose fastest, oh, yeah. just under two seconds. Cool. <laughs> Very good. Okay, next up. Which Italian puppet, a mouse with big ears, became popular on the Ed Sullivan show? Mm. Was it Pinocchio, Lamb Chop, Topo Gigio? Is that? Topo uh, Gigio. Topo Gigio, and, or Speedy Gonzalez? Have you heard of any of these? Well, obviously, you've heard of some of them. Well, I mean, Pinocchio, yeah, Pinocchio wasn't a mouse. Lamb Chop was probably a lamb. Yeah. Um, Speedy Gonzalez was, was a mouse, a but wasn't a puppet. No, he's a cartoon, wasn't he? Uh, so I'm guessing Topo Gigio. Yeah, um, have you never seen him? He's quite cute. I might, I, I might recognise if I saw It's quite an old, very old programme, I think, really, yeah. Um, hey, Anthony saying, definitely click the wrong one. Oh. Amber Hopkins as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think most of you are right. Just over half of you going Yeah, for... that's pretty good going. Considering it's such an old programme, that, that's really impressive, yeah. Well, I think sometimes, if you give it a moment's thought, you can rule yeah. out a lot of the answers. And also, Italian. Which one sounds Italian? Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I mean, Speedy Gonzalez was Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it sounds a bit, you know, more of a Spanish name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and oh, Engulf Tick yeah. was fastest there. He remembers Topo Gigio then. <laughs> Three and a third seconds. Cool, that's really good. All right. Which adult comedy show in the UK used puppets of politicians to poke fun at current events? Okay, this is a bit UK centric. I love this but, show. I know, but um, I did love this show. I, f I feel like maybe everyone else can sort of rule some out, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, no, was it The Fast Show, Spitting Image, have I got news for you or the comedians? Um, I don't know if it's ever made it to America TV. Yeah, I mean, the I'm thing is, sure it's, it's kind of... Version. Yeah, it was a very British kind of mm, humour. It was, um, <laughs> But I feel like it, you know, you could have done... Uh, localised versions American for the countries. American version right now, that would yeah, be hilarious. That, that would be... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that yeah yeah you need you need spitting image. Ferret in hasn't seen this. Surely you've seen this. Yeah yeah, but spitting image was a while ago. Was it? Yeah, oh, it's I, so awesome. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and think this was pre ferret. Pre ferret, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, thank you for the follow, Z Jack. Oh, hello. Um, hello there. I was, yeah, oh, join okay. in. I was about to say, press that button, yeah. you can join in, but you already have. There we go. Yeah, you awesome. go for it. <laughs> uh, so, um, when we ask the next question, you'll get some uh, interactive buttons under the stream, then in blue buttons. Just press whichever one you think is the right answer. 10 points for a correct answer, bonus point if you're the fastest correct answer. Okay, let's see what the right answer was. Um, we? um, well, Mr. Tapestry Man. Yeah, you these puppets were, were they were amazing. Looking. I used to love this show so I'm late much. to the game, but I'm ready. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so most of you saying spitting image. Yeah. Uh, I've got a few for, for each of the others. Oh, I wish they'd repeat um, it. It was hilarious. It was spitting image. Mm, indeed. Um, a ferret saying, wait a minute, when's Ava? Yeah, Ava gets bored halfway Ava, through. Ava was here at the start, <laughs> I think. Yeah, she was. I don't know. Yeah, mm. it's this It's this chatbot bug. Uh, it is logged with, mix, with Mixer. Apparently, um, they are looking into it because it's not just us that it happens yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, most of you saying spitting image, and you are right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mr. Tapestry is right here. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I, I was quite young when it was on. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, they were kind of... Caricature caricatures, puppets, really, yeah. uh, and I mean they, they could oh, be a I'm little sure, bit yeah. scary, really. Yeah. I suppose For a little one, yeah. Mm. But yeah, check it out on YouTube. It's bound to be on there somewhere. Yeah, it was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Grinning Goose was fastest there. Yay. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like I mean with everything that's happening in the world at the minute, I feel like <sighs> you could bring back Spitting totally Image bring it quite, back. quite yeah. easily. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. So. Uh, question four. Which recent American musical used puppets and live actors to satirise the process of going of growing up? Was it The Book of Mormon, Happy Town, Avenue Q or Wicked? 
Mm. I like the way that because it's an American musical, you spelt satirize Americanly. Absolutely, did yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, split opinion here. Wow, I thought everyone would know this one, John. Well, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, you don't know. I do. I, <laughs> hey, Anthony's saying I saw this for my birthday. Yeah, we seen yeah, it yeah. twice. <laughs> um, took me for my birthday yeah. last year or the year before, but we, we saw we it a few years ago uh, yeah. in, in the West End in London, yeah, actually. We saw it in London. Is it good? It yeah, it's awesome. Um, it, um, little bit rude. It's, it's, yeah, it's a little bit rude. <laughs> Bits of it are pure aisle. Um, but not, it, not it, for children, but yeah. <laughs> it is actually very good. And it's, uh, well, I should say what the right answer is first. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so most of you just saying Avenue mm, Q. Uh, after that, Happy Town, I'm not sure what, is that a musical? Oh, certainly is, yeah. Certainly is. Um, <laughs> Book of Mormon, getting about a quarter of the votes. Wicked, uh, someone's gone for as well. Yeah. Uh, but I'm certain it's yeah, Avenue Q, because I've seen it twice. Yeah. Um, don't and, sing the song, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't sing the song. Or any of the songs, in mm -hmm. fact. Or go into any details about it, because the oh. whole thing is quite rude. What's the internet for? Um, <laughs> and, well, hey, Anthony, yeah, uh, in there under a second. He's seen uh, it. Because they've seen it. Um, but yeah, see, Jack, it, it is very good. Um, yeah, definitely not for kids. But mm -hmm. it's, it's really surprising, <laughs> because if you haven't seen this, it's almost like watching Sesame Street live because there's mm. there's puppets yeah and people talking to them but the puppeteers are kind of on stage yeah. holding the puppets they're yeah. just sort of wearing black but you yeah, can yeah. still see their faces and things <laughs> and for the first maybe five minutes it's really weird and you're looking at at the puppeteer mm -hmm. but then you kind of get into it yeah. and you're just looking at the puppet <laughs> as actual characters yeah. uh, it's it's really yeah it's really yeah. interesting mm -hmm. Um, but um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Um, you, sh you should see it if you get the chance. Uh, I, I, if you're not easily offended, uh, and it has the song that was very popular on the internet a while ago because it's about the internet. Yeah. Don't Google that. Uh, Ferret saying this sounds so odd. I want to see it. Um, yeah, yeah. You're 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 old enough that you won't get offended by that. Um, yeah, yeah. You should go if it comes back uh, around here again. Yeah, it was it was really good. Uh, okay, so moving on. Which small yellow hand puppet who never makes a sound has been voted Britain's best love puppet? Mm. So again, I, I bet I, you know already, don't you? I, the well, I, I do, but I, you know, I, I feel you may be going a bit mm. UK centric with these yeah. things again. Um, <laughs> was it Sweep, Basil Brush, Sue, or Sooty? <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you're. Um, uh oh. <laughs> okay. I, well, there you go. Most of you managing well, yeah, to uh, um, uh, kind of settle on one mm. answer there. Uh, so we've got, got maybe yeah. one vote for Sweep there. Everyone else has gone Sooty. I mean, Sweep is Sooty's best friend. Um, well, exactly. Really and, close. And, and Sue was one of their friends as well. Although Sweep did make noises. Um, Amber Hopkins going. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Amber. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We. I mean, we do try to kind of balance these out, having yeah. the sort of like American musicals and, yeah, and yeah, UK yeah, stuff. <laughs> uh, maybe we just need more general world stuff for yeah. people not in the UK Sometimes and the it's US. Difficult. <laughs> anyway, I, I digress. Mm -hmm. So almost all of you saying sooty. Yeah. And that's the right answer. Never know sooty. Mm -hmm. Total guess for sweep. Oh, that's oh, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, sweep is his best friend, so you're very close there. Yeah, sooty's like a yellow bear. Yeah, but sweep is uh, a naughty dog. Yeah. Very and he kind of squeaks. Dog. Yeah, we yeah. like sweep better. <laughs> um, Sue is a is a panda, I think. Yeah, Sue is his girlfriend, but she's a bit. Goody, goody. Yeah. Uh, Amber Hopkins saying, don't know British things or American things. Yeah, this is what I mean. We <laughs> should go for more sort of world kind of stuff. We yeah. should do some Canadian stuff. Yeah, we'll do some Canadian stuff next week. <laughs> okay, so uh, almost all of you getting it right. Crash Thatch was fastest. Yeah, I see. He likes Sooty. <laughs> I feel like there were quite a few guesses there, perhaps. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, it worked out there. all right. Yeah. Okay, let's see how people did there. Oh, perfect round for Grinning Goose yeah. and Vanguard Ferret. Mm. So Goose uh, coming out on top with mm. two bonus marks. Yeah. Uh, then we've got Ungulf Tick on 41. Mm. And then we've got Jess, Mr. Tapestry, both on 40. Oh, look at that. Dom and Jerry did well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dom and Jerry on 30. Hey, Anthony, mm. Crash Hatch, both on 21. Then we've got Rene Enigma, Shaz and Riv, Olive Walnut, Human Cell and Z-Jack, all on 20. Amber Hopkins on 10. Uh, Amber saying, oh goodness, I only got the last one by guessing. <laughs> well, well, you know, that's the thing. If you're not sure, press it. You yeah. know, maybe you'd be right 25% of the time. Absolutely. Crash that saying, I thought it was Sue. And Z-Jack saying, I didn't know it was spelt Sue. I didn't yeah, either. Yeah, she was spelt Sue like that. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I learned something and I've even seen that. <laughs> 
All right. Actually, he's such a still gang, isn't he? <laughs> After all these years. I think so, yeah. We were talking about Sooty the other day. <laughs> wow, I really need to fix this uh, sizing thing. So <laughs> that's Grinning Goose in the lead on 134. Mm -hmm. uh, Ferret in wow. second place on 111. <gasps> Just behind there, Mr. Tapestry, one point on 110. Wow, that is very close at the top there. Got a few people still quite close, though. You know, Jess mm. and Golf Tick. Yeah, um, yeah. They're like, you know, one behind. Absolutely. Um, hey, Anthony, uh, Crash Latch, mm. two behind. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. Time for a new round. Inspired by texting. This is what Loser drew. That's a really detailed picture of texting. It is. Isn't it? I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, um, I'm i always quite impressed when. Uh, oh, hello, Phantom. Oh, Phantom. Nice to here. see you. Um, I'm always quite impressed when people do text in drawings and it's actually readable yeah is that readable <laughs> i mean officially you're not supposed to be writing but what we mean is Don't you shouldn't you shouldn't just write texting no no you just you know if, if you're writing something to illustrate the actual yeah, concept for, for, for yeah. flavor yeah yeah um that's, that's um you know that's all good that's really cool picture. um but yeah the um yeah it, yeah it's good uh i'm i'm worried about saying anything in case I, I spoil well, something say anything, so I won't <laughs> but uh, people are saying uh, phones mobiles messages iPhones people named Doug could be um, technology yeah yeah mm. this is why a wife left <laughs> you yeah um, I did I did like this one um, this is a great drawing um, all right shall we see what it's about then, on, then. texting it's like texting okay <laughs> okay let's have question one Neil Papworth sent the very first ever text message to a Vodafone party on December 3rd, 1992. It said, which of these? Merry Christmas. You okay, hon? Did you get this? Or oh, happy birthday, mate. So what do you think the very first ever text message was? I feel, oh, sorry, I should wait for everyone to answer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you okay, hon. That's a bit modern. <laughs> um, happy birthday, mate. Um... Yeah, but look at the date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. December the 3rd, mm. Merry Christmas. I mean, that's quite early for saying Merry Christmas. Yeah, but if you're a company party, you've got to have those early. Oh, so everyone's booked up. I mean, <laughs> you know, working in tech, Yeah. I'd almost be quite tempted to go for, did you get this? <laughs> yeah. Because they're assuming that it wasn't going to work. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's how I'd roll. Yeah. Um, I think I might have heard this before. I've never heard this story before. Um, I and I, I yeah. think it's Merry Christmas. Okay. Um, I'm not sure though. Yeah, yeah, I think Merry Christmas. Just over half of you agreeing with that. Mm -hmm. um, no one's saying happy birthday, mate. Someone's gone, you're okay, hon. Uh, <laughs> everyone else saying, did you get this? I see where you're going with that. I, yeah. I'm, I'm about 80% certain it's Merry Christmas. Okay. It yeah. is, okay. yeah. They were having a Christmas party. <laughs> Yeah, okay, good stuff. Interesting, isn't it? Um, so, Jess getting the fastest uh, mm -hmm. answer there. Two Absolutely. and a quarter seconds. Very nice. Okay, let's get on to question two. I mean, I, the pause was as ever. I was going to say something, but I'm worried I might spoil the yeah, question, so probably. I'll keep quiet for a bit. Okay. Question two. On average, only 20% of emails are opened and read, but what percentage of texts are actually read? That sounds like my inbox. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, is it 81%, 98%, 50% or 75%? Do you ever get texts that you don't read? Yeah. I suppose if you see that they're kind of spammy. Yeah, like maybe. you see the preview. Yeah, maybe. You know, like I get like a, a monthly thing from the bank saying, mm. oh, your statement is ready. Mm. And, so, and I, don't so I don't, I don't actually read, read those. No, no, no. Um, so for me... What would you say? I would say... 81% mm -hmm. I probably open. For your personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd almost feel like it's 98% though, because I feel like the spam texts are probably quite a small percentage of everything that's sent. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people communicate purely on text, and so they're going to be sending a lot. Mm. Crash, that's 98% are read by the CIA and GCHQ. <laughs> uh, quite, quite possibly, yeah. I, I, I think you're probably right. Oh, hello, Echelon. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I thought it was called Skynet. What? <laughs> uh, e Echelon was like one of the sort of SIGIN systems. Okay. That's why whenever I... Uh, it's a Z-Jack, yeah, where I'm going with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah, that's why whenever I say something about, you know, what like people tapping phones, whatever, I'm like, oh, hello, Echelon. <laughs> um, anyway, so... Um, What's the actual answer then? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be 98%. Okay. Almost half of you going for that. Yes, yeah, indeed. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah. So obviously, texts are far more effective to send to people if you want to tell them something than an email. Yeah, but I, I wonder if that's just because you get less text spam. Yeah, I mean, I get some, mm. but nowhere near as much. No, nothing. I like mean, thinking about that. the numbers, mm -hmm. my incoming texts, one, two percent spam, yeah. maybe. My incoming emails, probably eighty yeah. percent. And how many emails you get a day compared to how many texts yeah, you get? Yeah. You don't get that many texts a day, do you? Usually. So um, yeah, almost half of you getting that right. Yeah. And Engel Tick was fastest. Oh, he knows about text. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Question three. What does the abbreviation SMH, common in text messages, mean? Does it mean save me, hello me, shaking my head, send me hearts, or shouting myself hoarse? You know how you like lull for laugh out loud? Or lots yeah. of love as David Cameron thought he was. <laughs> I, uh, yes, nice. <laughs> Um, I, I love the idea of there being an abbreviation for Save Me Halloumi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't you like if, if you're on, If you're meant to be meeting up at Nando's or something <laughs> and you're running late, you just text SMH for Save Me Halloumi. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> halloumi. Oh, I really want some Halloumi. Oh, now. everyone's liking the Halloumi. halloumi. <laughs> um, Not many voting for it, though. In fact, no one. <laughs> So, okay, if, you, if you're going to send me hearts, mm. almost everyone's saying shaking I haven't heard of this, Seth. I'll use one that I haven't heard of because then it might be more difficult. Now, I don't actually know what this means. I've kind of guessed based on the context mm. because I see people saying it a lot. Yeah. And I always see it and I'm like, what does that mean? I don't think I've ever seen it, honestly. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. I, I, so I think it's shaking my head. Is it kind of in disbelief or not you, agreeing? Yeah, yeah. Sort of. You know, someone Which does one? someone does something ridiculous, and oh, you're okay. like, Ooh. "What? SMH?" And it's yeah, just okay. like <sighs> shaking okay. your head. Um, <laughs> send me hearts. I mean, you know, this could be legit if you were, you know, feeling a bit down. You want someone to send mm -hmm. you some nice stuff. Yeah. I mean, shouting myself hoarse. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be a really good one. It's Although, a bit like laughing out loud, isn't it? Yeah. Shouting out hoarse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But to be uh, to be honest, that's pretty much just typing in capitals, yeah. so you wouldn't really need one. Yeah. Oh, Phantom saying, let's try this again. I think I'm connected this time. Oh, oh okay. Now. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be working for you now. Yeah. So let's see the right answer yeah, there. I, I'm pretty sure it's shaking Shake my, my head. head. And oh yeah. Most of you going for that. I didn't know that, so I might start using it now. Yeah, SMH. Um, mm -hmm. I I don't think. Uh, it, yeah, exactly. No one knows tech speak. <laughs> SMH. In in my head. Mm -hmm. I think this is more of a US thing. Oh, okay. I don't. There you go then. I don't really know anyone in the UK who no, says this. I've never seen anyone use that, but I like it. It's pretty good. Um, hey, Anthony, I was saying I would have been okay with being wrong for halloumi. <laughs> I think we all would, really. Yeah. Um, Got to get some halloumi when we go shopping tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hey, Anthony was oh, fastest he was there. Oh, you see. <laughs> Wasn't distracted by the halloumi. Getting yeah. it in under a second. Good one. Excellent. Okay, question four. Who took the world's most famous selfie at the Oscars in 2004? Was it Ellen DeGeneres, Beyonce, Oprah, or Barack Obama? I, I Do remember, you remember seeing this? I remember this selfie? happening. Yeah. Like, there were lots of people on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, Ferret saying that long ago. Oh, in fact, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no. I've just looked at the date. Yeah. That can't be right. That still pops up all the time. <laughs> Surely that should be 2014. Mm -mm. That's over 10 years ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. How many? There's been loads what? of Oscars since then, hasn't there? If you asked me when that happened, I mm. would have said, well, I don't know, four or five years ago. Mm -mm. It's madness. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so uh, no one going for Oprah. Barack Obama, Beyonce, about a third of you saying that. Everyone else going Ellen DeGeneres. Um, uh oh, maybe it was 2014. <laughs> I mean, Maybe 2004, I that <laughs> 2004, that would be crazy. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, Ellen DeGeneres, I, I kind of remember yeah, that yeah. happening. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tapestry. I was kind of starting to feel like <laughs> I'd, like I'd just oh, yeah. been asleep for 10 years Sorry, or something. I must have missed typed that one. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Phantom, oh, I'm not connected. Dear. just not a good day for me. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Phantom. I feel bad, you know, because you, you could have defended your, champion, your yeah. crown here. Exactly. Um, uh oh. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll okay. Uh, we'll have a look at the status stuff later and see if there's any kind of mixer issues. I think Barack Obama had the most popular text at some point. And 
in history. It was the most popular tweet. Tweet. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Four tweet, more that years. Was it. Or, or that something was it. Like that. Yeah, yeah. 2004 was before the release of the iPhone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that went to work then. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a long time. Ago. <laughs> um, okay, so Elna DeGeneres, the right mm-hmm. answer. And Hey Anthony was yeah, fastest there. Well done. Oh, we've just missed a little pop-up there saying Cincy joined the quiz. Oh, brilliant. Um, we like new joiners. <laughs> that didn't appear in the chat. Oh, yes, because Ava's got sidetracked and wandered off, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Um, hi, Cincy. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, we uh, Yeah, we got another round yet yeah, after this. So, you know, you've still got time to play along for a bit. Um, so we've got one more question in this round, too. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that you've uh, hit that button, you'll get some blue buttons underneath the stream. Just press whichever one you think is the right answer when we ask a question. And here we go. Next question. What were texts originally known as? Was it OMGs, LOLs, BRBs, or SMS? Answer I, now. <laughs> I, I feel like most people would, would know that. I mean, it still says that on phones, does it? Does I don't it? know, actually. I don't know. Now that, I think, like that. <laughs> now that I think about it, my phone just says messages rather than... Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Uh, so almost all of you going SMS. Mr. Tapsley is saying, is this a trick question? Very saying easy. Uh, so almost everyone going SMS, oh. and that's the right answer. It should uh, be OMGs. I think that's short cool. messaging service. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that was uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Short message service, as yeah. Crash Lab says that. So yeah. almost all of you getting that right. Mm-hmm. And hey, Anthony was fastest. Yeah, he's got on tech. <laughs> Um, you see now, just going off on a quick tangent about about texting. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not spoiling it. Okay. Um, so SMSs are actually sent using kind of the system on the mobile network that kind of send, well, send sort of system messages around. Mm-hmm. So as I, I think, if, if I'm correct, um, there's no, uh, effectively, it doesn't cost the networks anything to send, but they're still happy to charge us for it. Really? Because it just uses this thing that isn't really used for anything else. Okay. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is there a refresh I, option on the phone? My phone. Um, I have to be honest, I don't tend to use the phone app because, mm. uh, well, I'm on the other side of the camera. So, exactly. um, yeah, try closing the app and reopen. Oh, yeah, it. that might be best, yeah. Good good advice, safe and fair. Um, yeah, so there you go. There you go. That's the end of that round. Okay, so let's see how everyone did. Oh, look at that. There we mm-hmm. go. Okay, so we've got uh, Ferret, Goose, and Crash Latch getting all of them right, 50 points each. Uh, Mr. Tapestry getting four right on 40 there. Hey, Anthony, you're getting three right, but three were fastest yeah, as well. Yeah, that's 33. Really good going. That's good going. Yeah. Uh, then we've got a load of people on 30. Uh, Ren Enigma, Amber Hopkins, Olive Walnut, Humid Seller, and Z Jack all getting three right. Jess and Ingolf Tick both getting two right. But getting uh, fast ones. But getting a, a mm. bonus mark. Then we've got Chaz and Ruiv, Dom and Jerry, both on 20. And then uh, Cincy getting uh, 10 points. And just joined. And they only just joined. one question so and they got it right. technically a 100% success rate. That is so good. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hansi saying, sometimes just minimise the screen and bring it back up and it works. Okay. Um, yeah, as I say, I mean, I, I haven't really... Um... No, it's just black. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you should try all those different things while we're going along. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll introduce the next bit, yeah, yeah. and then hopefully it'll catch up by the time okay. we start. So, overall. So yeah. Again, excuse the overlap on the text there, but uh, so we got Grin and Goose in the lead on one eight four. Uh, second place, Ferret on one six one, and then Mr. Tapestry on one five zero. Oh wow, yeah. So there's still a round to go, so mm-hmm. anything could change there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, Crash Thatch, pretty close, just one behind, really. Mm-hmm. Hey, Anthony, uh, you know, three to, to catch up there, you know. It's doable, isn't it? Jess as well. Uh, okay. Oh, Phantom's back. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, fing- fingers crossed for you. Hopefully that will work. So, final round then. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd managed to forget <laughs> this. <laughs> But it's such a cute picture. <laughs> so, um, in interference, someone was shown the description. Baby shark in diaper carries rattle. Mom hovers above. Uh, and so Crystal was uh, sh- uh, shown yeah. that and then drew <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I saw uh, Baby Shark. Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. For the first time. Ever this week. And um, I've had it stuck it. in my head since then. Yeah. Okay, don't say any more. I won't say any more. Okay, so I will, um, I'll just stall for a moment. Jess saying, please wait for me just while she restarts her app. Okay, yeah. Dive, I can rattle. 
Oh, um, it is yeah. quite a cute picture, that. Yeah. I mean, again, I, I think sometimes the simple pictures work really well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, got, you know, you've got like, what, four colours there? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five colours there. Mm. Um, but it's, you know, it's really effective. Yeah. Quite clear, the sharks. Very you know. cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the sea sand starts playing. <laughs> Under the sea. Do, do, do. That's from Little Mermaid, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I was just Ooh. worried about what, what I should and shouldn't say, yeah, so say I'm, I'm, I'm anything, just keeping yeah. quiet. Let's go and see what it's about, shall we? <laughs> okay, um, just wondering if we should just wait for Jess to say that she's mm. back, because I know yeah. she'll be... Is uh, it going to be about sea life? Is it going to be about sharks? Mm. She'll be disappointed if she uh, if she misses <laughs> it, although I don't want to hold everyone up for uh, for too long. Marine animals. Mm. Um, oh, I can see we've actually got a few people watching that aren't uh, in. Uh, this is the last round. Yeah, so, come and join you know, the last round. You've still got time to yeah. get involved. You'll know about this one, I'm sure. Okay, I oh, was just saying I couldn't restart the app again. It took too much time and he made the image black. Oh, okay. Okay, um, okay let's right. go with the last round then. I have then. to move on because yep. I know people have got uh, other things going on yep. after this. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll move on. Oh, okay. Viral video. That's you didn't not what I was that, expecting. Did you? No. <laughs> okay, yeah, like you read this. You can sing it if you like. Yeah. <laughs> How does how does it go? Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. <laughs> um, first featured on an educational website called Pink Fong. In which country? Yeah, where did that come from? Was it Korea, Japan, China, or Vietnam? Mm -hmm. I guess most people have seen this by now. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think it's going to be stuck in my head all night again. You know, I didn't actually get to sleep for ages on Thursday night. <laughs> Just because of because that Because of that, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, dear. I think Phantom's having a bad day today. I'm sorry, Phantom. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. My car stopped mm -hmm. running while I was driving home. How can you forget to press? He was so busy singing the song, you see, that Anthony forgot to press the button. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, we've got quite an even it's, spread uh, here, haven't happens. we? Yeah. Um, mm. I'm not sure. I mean, I've only seen it, seen it once. Pink, Who's Bruce? Pink Fong. <laughs> pink Fong. I'm just wondering if, I don't know, China, maybe? Let's go and see. Although that. it's sort of, you know, catchy pop kind of thing. Mm. So so Korea, maybe. I don't know. Okay, most of you have gone for Japan. Mm. Hardly anyone saying Vietnam. Um, Korea, China. Anthony says I, Korea. Anthony says Korea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tempted to say Korea because it's sort of like a... A catchy pop song like kind K-pop of yeah exactly <laughs> okay let's see who it is in Korea. Korea there yeah, we go absolutely. nice work Anthony yeah except he forgot to press the button so he's just telling us <laughs> what he would have done okay um, oh Mr. Mr. Tapestry. Tapestry he knows okay. his baby sharks mm -hmm. oh so I'm just going to be singing that for the rest <laughs> of the day now you haven't seen the rest of these yet <laughs> I'm going to be singing all of these yeah. Mr Tapsery I know my K-pop yeah nice stuff. work yeah that's impressive okay next up uh, which video which went viral in 2007 featured a toddler being bitten by his baby brother <laughs> I remember this one <laughs> was it Charlie Says Charlie Bit My Finger Dave Bit My Leg or Harry Bit Me um, <laughs> do people remember this one Damn Dave, yeah. Dave, yeah. Got that right. Dave bit my leg is something that happened to you earlier, isn't it? <laughs> Dave yes. scratched my hand off. Um, uh, oh, hey, Anthony's saying they have a room at Google named after this. Really? Nice. Oh, wow. Uh, the Charlie bit my finger room. Um, <laughs> That'd be amazing. So, uh, yeah, most of you going for Charlie bit my finger, mm. and that is the... Um, the right answer. You're welcome, Crash Set. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. to us all. No problem. Oh, they name all their rooms after vids. Oh, okay, wow. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I'd love to see that. Um, yeah, a lot of companies have kind of room naming mm, schemes. I, yeah. I used to do some contract work for a training company, and their uh, rooms were all named after um, like F1 racetracks and things oh, okay. like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is more my kind of Yeah, this is more like, like it, yeah. Um, so Charlie says, I mean, that. That, that was a thing. That was, was like an advert for road safety. Yeah, it was like a public service mm, announcement was. in the UK. It was. Yeah. Um, yeah, Charlie bit my finger. Right answer. Almost all of you getting that right. And Z Jack was fastest. Just Harry was second. actually the name of the toddler who got bitten, and oh, Charlie was okay, biting. Okay, right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's why Harry's in there. <laughs> I just love the idea of having your rooms named after things yeah, like that. Something so random like that. And you, you say, oh, okay, yeah, we, sh we should have a meeting on, on Thursday. Yeah, can you book Charlie Bit My Finger? <laughs> nice. That's brilliant. Um, 
got the fastest answer through the power of baby shark. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. David at the dentist. Oh yeah, I remember that one as What's well. That? Oh no, oh, was that one? Oh no, fine. Carry on. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Which was the first music video to exceed two billion views? Hmm. Numa Numa, November Rain, Gangnam Style, or Dancing Baby? Two billion is an awful lot, isn't it? Well, I mean, you know, YouTube's like. Mm. Which of those was the most popular? Do you think then? Now, I feel like, mm-hmm. I mean, Dancing Baby, that wasn't really a music video. It was one of the first videos, wasn't it, to get but, viral, but I, I wouldn't think. wouldn't call it a music video. Yeah, no. November Rain. Um, that did particularly well. Mm. Numa Numa, I mean, that, that was very popular. <laughs> I don't think it got to two billion, though. I'm pretty confident it's going to be Gangnam Style. Because, <laughs> I mean, when that happened, everyone went mad for Everybody. Gangnam Style. Absolutely, um, yeah. We, we went to a, a, a party in London, like a Microsoft party. Uh, w- there was a free bar. Uh, and so then later, a few days later, there was this video of me uh, energetically dancing to Gangnam Style. So you didn't remember you did it? Um, I did the morning after when I'd, I'd had some breakfast. I'm like, wait a minute, did I dance to Gangnam Style? Uh, oh, Crash that's saying Gangnam was the first to one it billion. It was, yeah, yeah. Can't remember if it was the first to two billion. I think later on. Mr. Tapestry saying this should be on Just Dance. Yeah, isn't it? I think it probably is. I think it must be down there somewhere. So Gangnam Style, the right answer, and Mm -hmm. most of you getting that right. Yeah. And Humid Seller was fastest. Well done, Mr. Seller. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Uh, Amber Hopkins saying we have it on one. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe I did Gangnam Style at our dance party the other week. Yeah, sure, we've done it before. I've done it before, certainly. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, Seller knows his YouTube. Yeah, yeah seemingly does. does. <laughs> All right. So, question four. What phrase went viral after a news interview with Kimberly Wilkins about her escape from her burning apartment complex? What? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Can't hug every cat. I took an arrow in the knee or backing up. Okay, backing now I, I do remember all of these, <laughs> yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I took an arrow in the knee. That's Skyrim. Okay. I know that. Okay. Um, can't hug every cat. That was a video about. Um, it was meant to be like a dating, a, video, a dating profile mm, video for yeah. some girl on uh, eHarmony, mm-hmm. and it actually turned out <laughs> that it was the company mm-hmm. like doing it. Yeah. But it. Uh, <laughs> please sing it. Uh, maybe not. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm. I sung it. Uh, I sung it last week. You, you've already heard that. You don't. You don't need to hear it again. Um, so yeah, backing that... up, back. Remember backing up? Though? That's mm. my favourite. Backing, backing up. up backing yeah, up. that was uh, that was a woman who was in a robbery store. Yeah, robbery, in a store robbery. Mm-hmm. Uh, and her daddy told her if she's ever in a robbery, she just, just back, back up. up. <laughs> um, what you want to do is is search for auto tune the news, yeah. uh, and they kind of make songs of these by mm-hmm. auto-tuning the interviews and they're fantastic yeah. the can't hug every cat and backing up song are both definitely excellent. on that yeah yeah um i've i've heard of ain't nobody got time for that i think i have a t-shirt with with that that on. On. Have. i didn't realize this is what it was about mm. yeah. i'd only seen like that little yeah. sort of clip of it yeah, yeah. um but yeah I, I think it's ain't nobody got time for that ain't nobody got time for that yeah, <laughs> yeah there it go. was yeah so three quarters of you getting that right <laughs> And oh, hey, Anthony yeah. was fastest. He's next there. Maybe there's a room there called that as well. <laughs> At Google. <laughs> we should have a meeting, but I, I, where, where should we hold it? Hey, nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. We'll do it by email. <laughs> yeah, Anthony, um, time for Oh, it. thank you for the follow, uh, Kikumoto Blue. Oh, nice to see you. Um, I would say, hey, you should hit that join quiz button and, but and get involved. Very last but question then. <laughs> we are literally about to do the last question for the night, I'm afraid. Yeah, you can still do it though if you want. But yeah, you know, why not? Get involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got a few seconds before we get to it. Uh, um, okay, so here we go. Last one then, everyone. Which viral World of Warcraft player charged into a dungeon, ruining the attack plans of his group and getting them all killed? <laughs> I think if, you, if you're from the internet, mm-hmm. I feel that most people... Have, have heard of this. Yeah, this Pe- is People still say it. I mean, I still say this. Yeah, yeah, you do. I, I think I said it playing when playing Fortnite with Ferret the other week or okay. something. Okay, there you go then. Um, was it Jim Beam, Leroy Jenkins, Joe Bloggs, or Captain Morgan? 
<laughs> some random drinks in there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I can kind of see a pattern with some of those answers. I, I'm not quite sure uh, what what the theme is there. Um, most of you, just under three quarters of them, hey, you got a vote Leroy then. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, they did all actually. Mm -hmm. But of course, people name themselves after all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, so, uh, Breadmore loves this. Yeah, yeah, I, I did <laughs> say this when we were playing Fortnite or Destiny or something. <laughs> um, yeah, so most of you saying Leroy Jenkins, and that's the right answer. Yeah, even I've seen this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if you've not seen the video, it's basically these guys taking the game really seriously, uh, and they're like crunching all of the numbers about like what's going to be the best way to approach this, and who needs to do this, and who needs to do this. And um, then this guy's just been off to get some food, comes back, sticks his headset on and goes, all right, come on, let's do this. And then just runs into the room shouting, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> and everyone else is like, what? What? He went in and the whole thing goes terribly wrong. And then he's like, well, at least I have chicken. Um, I'd order a double Leroy Jenkins and Coke. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> we, should, um, we should go to one of these gaming bars that they have. Oh, yeah. Because uh, yeah. I bet they have... They have cocktails yeah, named after games. That would be cool. <laughs> There's a really hard achievement in Warcraft since then, in that place. Oh, oh okay, nice. Fascinating. <laughs> People know all about these, don't they? Okay, well, Phantom saying a complete guess, but was actually able to click. Yay. <laughs> Were they right? There is a question. Uh, Mr. Tapestry, uh, fastest answer there, uh, just over a second. Yeah. Uh, Hansen saying, ooh, do, do an IFX meetup. Well, I'd love to do that, but where would we do it? Yeah, I feel like <laughs> we have we occasionally say if we're going to places, um, but... Like EGX. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I don't think we've ever had something with enough people in one place to kind of legitimately call it a meetup. But we could do it at EGX if people... Um, and now that it's back in London this year... Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we're, anyone we're goes to, to EGX uh, in, in London now, uh, we're there each year mm -hmm. in October this year. That's right. We, we might even be going to REST in April. Mm. More details on that later. Um, oh, yeah, and there's a mixer meetup in Birmingham uh, in March. Birmingham, UK, I should say. Yeah, not um, Alabama. <laughs> anyway, <Sadly. laughs> uh, I should probably just wrap up and do the scores yeah, here, and then we can get back on wow, camera and do, uh, do a bit of chat. That perfect so, round from Mr. Tapestry. Mm, well, four perfect rounds, actually, mm. there. Uh, as in four people with perfect rounds. Yeah. Mr. Tapestry on 52, mm. uh, Ferret on 50, Goose on 50, and Crash Latch on 50. Humid Seller uh, getting four right and a bonus. And then uh, Hey Anthony and Z Jack both on 31. With right. bonuses. With bonuses, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Renee Enigma, Jess, Amber, Shazen, oh, no, they're all on 30. Shazen, Riv, Dom and Jerry, and Golf Tick on 20. Olive Walnut and Phantom uh, both on 10. Mm -hmm. uh, Phantom not being able to see anything that's going on and just pressed a button, but got some points, so that's nice work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amber saying, I, I thought this was final, wondering how I got three for the whole game. No, no, here we go. Let's see the what the final. totals are. And the winner is Grinning Goose. Goose on <gasps> top there. Wow. Uh, so that's actually uh, 234. That is one point more than last week's yeah. score by so Phantom. Wow. At the start, I said, wow, Phantom, 233 last week. That's I think it. that might be the biggest ever score. And then Goose has just come in and said, all oh, right, challenge accepted. <laughs> Got one more. That's so amazing. Goose on top now, 234. Mm -hmm. uh, Ferret in second place, 2 on 1. And Mr. Tapestry, 202. Still pretty close, so you know, yeah, crash that. We're just that's one, one good question score, behind. One, nine, one, mm -hmm. brilliant. Hey, Anthony, only a few behind there as well. Yeah. Same with Jess. Yeah, okay. Um, not too tight at the top, but again, mm -hmm. kind of close for second and third place. Yeah. Human Cell is saying, wait, that's only two wrong answers. Whoa. Ooh, maths, yes. <laughs> that's maths. <Whoa. laughs> um, wow. Although I suppose if you've got enough fast bonus marks, that might make up another. That's, that's plausible. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think they did, though. No. At, at some point when we, you know, redo this, we'll have sort of, we'll be able to pull up stat breakdowns yeah, yeah. of what happened. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Okay. So yeah, oh, there we see go. Jack, you enjoyed it. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you uh, glad you enjoyed that. Yeah. It was here we nice go. To see I you. should uh, bring us back here so everyone can see us. Yeah. You can actually press the right here button. We oh, there we go. And we should get the scores. There we go. Yeah. Uh, nice so start. yeah, thank you very much for joining us, everyone, and congratulations yeah. to uh, Grinning Goose. Yeah. Two, three, four. I mean, yeah, you know. That's crazy. It is, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was mm, top score ever. Yeah, well, I, we'll see about that. See about that, yeah. So, uh, so well very done. good. Yeah, yeah. 
That's great. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you all enjoyed that. Uh, so we enjoy it, don't we? Yeah, yeah, it's great fun for <laughs> us as well. Yeah. Uh, so we're here uh, every week, the same time, 7 p.m. UK time, yeah. basically now minus an hour, uh, yeah. if you're not on the UK time. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, we do the same thing every week. It would yeah. be great if you could uh, join us next time, or if you know anyone else who's into quizzes, get them to come along as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, it'd also be very awesome if you could hit that follow button because uh, you know we're trying to sort of build up our numbers yeah. for this kind of stuff. And we can remind you when we're going to be on. Exactly, you'll mm -hmm. get a notification whenever something interesting happens on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> so as I say, we're back uh, at the same time Sunday. next week for the quiz. We are. But the next interesting thing to be happening on this channel will be interference and chill with ferret, which is on Wednesday nights at six thirty p.m. UK time. So starting just a bit earlier than we do with this. Yeah. Uh, but as I say, hit that follow button, you'll get a notification. It's all good. <laughs> uh, also, you could join our uh, Discord server if you want to chat about the quiz or, yeah. well, anything else really, over at playinterference.com slash Discord. Mm -hmm. And there's notifications when there's broadcasts and things happening here. Yeah. And for the rest of the week, you can play interference. Exactly. <laughs> if you head over to playinterference.com, it's our fun uh, drawing and describing game. Good fun. Uh, and as you've seen, if you've been watching, uh, all of the quiz questions are inspired by drawing some interference. So, you know, if you draw something yeah. this week, maybe you'll be used as inspiration for a round of we questions. Can feature one of your drawings. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll be seen on the channel here. Yeah. That'll be quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we've enjoyed having you along. Thank you for joining the yes, quiz. Yes, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, everyone saying, uh, well done, thank you, love oh, the quiz. Yeah, yes, thank, thank you, you very much, we appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, as I say, we would love to try and fill up that leaderboard. We yeah. can fit in three columns at the moment, so oh, we can okay. have maybe twice as many people as we've yeah. got. So you know, bring a friend next Tell your friends, that would be very cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Zizo. Nice to see you again. Hope you come back next week. Uh, yep, so enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Yeah. Uh, have a great evening or, yeah. or day or whatever. And we'll see you next yeah. week. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.